Hey everybody, this is Debbie. Welcome to a beautiful day in Maryland. Today I'm going to talk all about brake energy regeneration, one pedal driving, how to maximize your range with this and how to drive smoothly on one pedal. The S60 recharge that we have here has 310 horsepower uh, of gas engine in the front, 143 horsepower of electric motor at the back, giving you a combined 455 horsepower. The XC40 recharge over there has 402 horsepower and it's split equally between the two wheels there with two motors. Uh, and so what I did was I borrowed my son's toy over here and I wanted to show you what happens normally. This is the uh, EV motor that's behind on the S60 recharge's back wheels. Typically what happens is this, if you have one pedal driving switched off, the standard default is that you will have brake energy regeneration. And this means that every time you hit the brakes, it is actually uh, taking down the energy of you slowing down, the kinetic energy of you slowing down. And it is recycling it and turning it into electricity and sending it back to the battery. That is the ultimate in sustainability because otherwise braking just produces wasted heat energy and wasted brakes. Uh, the second option that you have is one pedal driving. And what one pedal driving is, is Imagine your foot is on the accelerator and you push down. You're sending electricity from uh, your battery to your motor at the back. When you take your foot off, what you're doing at this point is this becomes resistance. And uh, so it actually has a braking action and it slows you down without having to touch the brakes. But that's a generator. And so it is also generating electricity and sending it back to the battery. Uh, so next we're going to go out on a little road test and I'm going to show you how to engage uh, one pedal driving in each of these cars and how to drive smoothly in general. Thank you. We're going to first start off in my wife's S60 recharge and I wanted to show you uh, first of all how to engage one pedal driving. So usually when you pull down on your gear shift like this, you're going to go into D over there. When you're in D, it means one pedal drive is switched off and you will have brake energy regeneration. So I want you to take a look there. You'll see there's a power and charge meter. You need to know this if you're a new EV driver because that meter is going to help you to drive smoothly. When you hit the accelerator, that needle will go into the power and when you hit the brakes or if you have one pedal drive on when you take your foot off the accelerator the needle's going to go into the charge section and you'll see that there are marks at three o'clock and uh, uh there's a sorry there's a mark up there at three o'clock and then there's another one uh close to five o'clock down there those are really really important marks because if you stay within those marks, if you keep the needle within those marks, it usually means that you're driving the car pretty smoothly in either car. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna go out for a little drive and we're gonna do it just on uh, brake energy regeneration with one pedal switched off. So first thing I want you to see is as I am giving power, can you notice that that needle is going up? And I am keeping it nice and smooth in that section over there by staying underneath the first line. When I take my foot off the accelerator, you'll see that it barely moves at all. But next time, what I'm going to do is I'll hit the brakes and just watch how much this needle moves when I hit the brakes. That's very, I, I did that a little excessively, so it didn't feel very good. But uh, that is basically what I want you to take a look at. And I want you to use that meter uh, to guide you when you are in one pedal drive. And so now we're going to do one pedal drive. So we'll pull back on that and you see it goes into B. And now I'm going to accelerate a little bit and you'll notice that it goes into the power section. And when I take my foot off, whoa, look at that. I felt like I was hitting concrete. Well, not as bad as the XC40, but you can see how that went into the charge. And now this is pretty cool because there's a hill that I'm about to go down. And so we're going to do a little exercise. I am basically going to accelerate to 15 miles per hour. And then we're going to control our speed at 15. Okay, there we go at 15. And I'm going to pull back just to hold that speed at 15. And you'll see that as we're coasting along down the hill, it's actually charging the battery the whole time there. So that's, that's an example of one pedal driving and brake energy regeneration. And uh, what I want you to know is that it's not very strong in the S60 recharge. So 
If you are driving any Volvo plug-in hybrid, please just put it into B drive because you are maximizing your efficiency and it doesn't feel all that uncomfortable anyway. Next, let's go out on the XC40 Recharge and I'll show you how different it is when you have 402 horsepower of all electric motors. I'm now going to do the exact same exercise in the XC40 Recharge and I want you to notice how much more uh, braking action you will get in this car with two motors instead. The first thing I want you to notice, I'm in D over there, exactly the same power and charge meter, but there is no option for B if I pull back on the gear stick here. And uh, so instead, if you want to transition between one pedal and uh, one pedal off, you hit the settings button up here and you go into driving. And when you scroll down there, you'll see that there is the option for one pedal drive. But second of all, you do have the ability to do this on voice control. So you can either say the trigger phrase, which is going to be on the screen below, or you can just press this button here. Turn off one pedal drive. All right, turning off one pedal drive. Done. All righty, let's go on a little drive now. Off we go. And so we have no one pedal on the first thing i'm gonna do is accelerate and you'll notice that power i'm gonna take my foot off the accelerator it just goes to zero press the brakes bam look at that do you see how much charge you get when you press the brakes and i want you to notice again i'm gonna accelerate a little bit more let go boom it's rolling along i'm at zero and I'm gonna hit the brakes, boom, oh, okay, you can see the difference there. Now I'm gonna press the button, turn on one pedal drive. Okay, turning on one pedal drive. All right, now firstly, I'm gonna accelerate and I'm gonna take my foot off the accelerator. Oh, that's like hitting concrete. It really can make you feel quite sick if you don't do it properly. So the key is this, I want you to make very, very slow movements with your uh, foot on the pedal, on the accelerator pedal. And so I'm gonna give you a little tip here. I want you to, at first, if you are new to this, try to hit the accelerator pedal with just your big toe. You're gonna find out that you're not putting as much pressure on it and you will drive smoothly. All right, we're on the hill. I'm gonna give it a little bit of accelerator like this until 15 miles. All right, now I am trying to control the speed there, trying to control the speed there, and you'll see I'm coasting along and charging the battery at the same time. Wow, so I encourage everybody out there to drive in one pedal drive, whether you're in a PHEV or if you're in a pure EV. Uh, it really is maximizing your range. Thank you all for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the share button. And if you don't have a Volvo Recharge, go get yourself one. Thank you, have a great day.